Okay. Paper number one, discussion. Can we see the first question? Which of the following have the same dimensions? Then correct answer should be third one, right? How? Density has the unit of question number one. Density, they have the dimensions, right? M, L minus three, pressure ML minus one, T minus two. Second answer, momentum M, L, T minus one. Moment of force is same as work done. ML squared T minus 2. Energy per unit volume. Energy per unit volume should be divided by volume, right? Energy ML squared T minus 2. Volume is L cube. 2 of 3 cancel, then L comes up, then it becomes M I ML minus 1, T minus 2, right? That is same as pressure, then correct answer is third answer, right, Buddha? <clears throat> pressure number 1, third answer. It's again momentum, we have fourth one, again momentum MLT minus 1, force is MLT minus 2. Work and power, completely different physical quantities. Work, ML squared T minus 2 and power, ML squared T minus 3. It's minus 3 and minus 2 here. The answer is third one, right? Okay. Next one, question number 2. Which of the following have same unit? Which of the following have same unit? Followings have same unit. Let's see. Work and moment of force. We should consider only unit, right? Not the dimensions. Then, question number two. We can say, work has the unit of joule, but moment of force in M, right? But Joule is also in them, but they are having two different properties. Therefore, this is scalar one. That one is vector one, right? Then separately, you should know about work is measured in Joule basic theory. And moment of force should be measured on Newton meters. Therefore, first one are not having the same unit, but they are having same dimensions. Can you mention same dimension? Dimension same, but unit difference, right? Impulse and force. Impulse is momentum change. It's kg ms minus 1 O Newton seconds. This so this the unit of impulse. And the force is just Newton, right? Therefore, you can't take. The answer as second one, right? The second one is wrong. Next one, frequency and angular velocity. The only frequency is measured by hertz, right? Number three, frequency is hertz. And it has SI unit of S minus one. Angular velocity is radian per second. These two dimensionally same. Dimension of T minus 1, frequency and here T minus 1, angular velocity and frequency both are having same dimension, but they are having two different units. Can we note number 3, number 1, first answer and third answer, both are having same dimension, but they are having different units. Next one. Kinetic pressure and potential pressure. Anyhow, pressure, no? pressure, kinetic pressure, kinetic pressure, kinetic energy per unit volume means kinetic pressure. Can you note that one? Kinetic energy per unit volume is kinetic pressure. Kinetic energy per unit volume is called kinetic pressure. 
potential pressure is potential energy per unit volume. Poten potential energy per unit volume. Then the answer is fourth one, right? Next one, rate of volume flow. Rate of volume flow is volume divided by time, right? Rate of mass flow is mass flow divided by time. You can see both are having same, a different physical quantities, volume, it's cubic meters per second here, kilogram per second. They are having different physical quantities. So that won't be the answer. Then answer is fourth one, right? Okay. Next one, question number three. The reading of the following extended vernier caliper is reading of the following extended vernier caliper. Okay, let's see. Reading of the extended vernier caliper. Then first thing, you should identify the least count of this one. Here we have main scale as 4 meter, centimeter mentioned. Then upper one is the main scale, right? Then lower one is the vernier scale. So we can say it consists with 20 identical divisions. Then first of all, we should find least count of the instrument. Then least count equal 1 millimeter least count from the main scale. Here we have 1 millimeter, right? Divided by 20, you got this one 0 0.05. First thing, you should find least count. Is that clear, brother? Done. Second thing, for the zero division is passed, zero division, on your original paper, we have this kind of arrangement. So zero division passes three millimeter, then zero division passes three millimeter. So three millimeter plus coincided one is the second one, right? Two multiple by 0 0.05 millimeter. So the answer becomes 3.10 millimeter could be the reading. So correct answer is the Okay. Then let's see number four. Okay, fourth question. When the jaws are incontacted, the above vernier caliper will have the following arrangement. It should be negative zero theorem. Here main scale zero division. Here vernier scale zero division. It passes. It is at behind from the zero division of the main scale, right? Yes. Then it passes zero division, therefore negative zero there. We got the previous reading 3.10 millimeter. You should add the error. Error associated by the instrument 17th division collided, aligned. 17 multiple by least count, it should be 0 0.85 millimeter additional reading. No, 0 0.85 additional millimeter. This is completely wrong. Why? 17 division aligned under the observing one, but this one passes 0 division. This is called negative 0 error. Then you should consider. Total number of division minus 17, no, 70, aligned number, multiple by, please count, 0 0.05. So, it becomes 3 division multiple by 0 0.05. It should be 3.10 millimeter plus 0 0.15 millimeter, right? Then it should be 3. Point 25 millimeters is the correct answer. Then answer is first one. Can we put the correct answer? 
Okay. In the negative zero error, error should be counted backward. Max large last number to align number. We have to count backward, right? Okay. Answer is first one. Okay, next case, question number five. Consider the following statement made about zeroth error of an instrument. Zeroth error of an instrument. A, zeroth error available only for length measuring instrument. But today we have another instrument under optics. It is called spectrometer. It consists with vernier scale and main scale that is used to measure angle. Measuring the angle, spectrometer is used. Then you can't exactly say we are using the vernier scales or subscales only using the length measurements. Length measuring instrument, that is wrong, right? A statement is wrong. Tavatava instruments on a tapi to make a hadan pulua, right? Subscale available for any kind of Measuring instrument, right? We can use that one if it is measurable one. If we measure voltage, if we measure length, if we measure mass, no matter, we can use vernier scale, subscale, we can introduce, right? According to the arrangement of the instrument, right? Okay, then A is wrong. So next B, zero theta can be eliminated by repeating. No, never. Repeating the reading. We can reduce uncertainty error. Reading whether the reading is exact value or the deviated value. We can minimize that one by repeating the reading. Uncertainty of the reading. Uncertainty can be removed by repeating the readings. Uncertainty can be removed by repeating the reading. See. The zero error exists only in the instrument with the subscales. Yes, correct. Not only vernier, circular scale as well, vernier scale, both may have zero error. It's, they may have zero error, right? Okay. Exists in the instruments with the subscales. Yes, correct. Then C, okay. Then put a, you have to see properly this one, right? Incorrect. It is bolted one, highlighted one. Then you should know. They need incorrect. Or oh, your negative form again, Prashna Haneka, A level, Lola, Hari Janapri Vadake. I know, level paper, but definitely they are asking this kind of question. What is incorrect one? Then by using hard work, we have, we have already identified two of them are wrong, right? But they have as incorrect one. Then you should select A and B, not only C. The Kaurari make a makarana, Eha Pauwe, Pauke like anime. You were at a river, correct answer is that. Take this, that one as an experience, right? Okay. Question number six. Right, let's see. Question number six. Magnitude of change of velocity. Can we underline that one? The magnitude of magnitude of change of velocity. Change in velocity. So you are given. The velocity vectors like this, one velocity vector lied right here and the other one is right here at an angle 60 degree right. This angle is mentioned 60 degree. So if you can extend this line right here, put it this angle will be same as this angle, this is basic theory, here we have quadruple, then we have a 60 degree angle, outer angle like this, then two vectors are indicated into this side and this side, so which means two vectors are indicated, one is V here, the other one is also V here. 
then if we resolve this velocity into this direction, this is called addition of velocity. And if we resolve these two velocities into this and this direction, they are called change of velocity. So if we have this angle, whole angle is 60, as these two magnitudes are getting same, this angle 30 degree and this angle 30 degree. Therefore, 2V cos 30 is called addition of velocity, which means resultant of velocity. Right, then by using these two, if we take 2v sine 30, this is called change of velocity. Change of velocity. Change of velocity, right? Then it's 2v, v60, sine 30 half, 2, 2 cancel, then the answer becomes 60 ms minus 5. Correct answer is third one. Got it? Yes, done. If you need, you can copy this one. Two velocities, they are indicated like this. Vertical resolution means the resultant. Horizontal resolution means the Change of velocity. Okay, parallelogram mega candle again the full one. Copy in the parallelogram. Long length base of the diagonal gives the resultant, the other one gives the change of velocity, right? Okay. So can you take question number seven? Number seven, a diagram is given. It is having several forces like this. They are having the forces right here, then it is easy to identify. The resultant vector is, it should be zero. Resultant vector should be zero. Reason? Forces are circulated. If the forces are circulated, there is no result. That is called force polygon method, right? That is called force polygon method. Then you can say, if the forces are indicated on a complete diagram like this, this is complete one. Some poor name of the maker. Enclosed diagram, enclosed polygon. All the forces are directed into one side. It's like how? It's like AB, BC, CD, DE. And E forces are circulated, then resultant could be zero. Right. We were done, right? Done no take it in a thing, copy karaganda it, matakarla liando. Okay, then correct answer is fifth answer, right? No result. Okay. Next one. We have to identify. The corresponding velocity time graph for given displacement time graph. Right. Can we note this one? What? Here we have here to here negative direction. Line that is drawn towards downward represents negative direction. Right, Buddha? Then take these two negative direction. And this one at rest. Velocity is zero. No velocity here. And from here to here, whole thing positive direction. And you can say this gradient is increased, then this is acceleration. Increasing gradient take place the acceleration. And here, gradient again, gradient here increases. It is also acceleration, but into negative direction, no matter. 
Here velocity is zero. Displacement time graph line parallel to the principal axis O, time axis you can say at rest. And here again acceleration. And finally we have constant velocity. Okay. Into negative direction, this is wrong. Initial part is drawn at the positive side here. Acceleration, correct. And then again acceleration, this is wrong, right? Then can we check the other answers? Okay, then here acceleration, acceleration at rest. Then we should identify first one acceleration, second one should be deceleration. No, is there a band for the pattern? Ah, right, okay. Then this one increasing gradient gradually, here decreasing gradient, gradient gradually. Here. Gradient decreases. This is deceleration, right? And a first acceleration, correct. Second deceleration, correct. At rest, velocity zero, correct. Acceleration, correct. Constant velocity, correct. Then answer is second one. Yes, correct answer is second one. Can we put the answer? Can we note here first thing? This one makes. Slope increases, here slope decreases, decreasing, deceleration here, here acceleration, right, done. Second answer is the correct one for question number eight. Can you take question number nine? What do you say? Which of the best ST graph corresponding to the following graphs? Given graph is acceleration time graph, right? Acceleration time graph. Here magnitude is A, here magnitude is minus A. Then can we check the correct answer? First, acceleration. Acceleration is increasing gradient. Then these two we can remove, right? Removing this one wrong, this is wrong, right? Okay, then next. Acceleration first thing, correct. Acceleration, correct. Acceleration, correct. But after end of the acceleration, this one definitely constant velocity, right? After end of the acceleration, never achieve at rest. After end of the acceleration, to achieve at rest, it should have huge barrier. Again, a time range, without having huge barrier, it won't be at rest, but continuously it is traveling now after that. Therefore, after end of the acceleration, it won't be at rest. Then these two are correct, right? We'll see. Next one. Again, acceleration. Acceleration correct. Acceleration correct. That last thing. After end of that one, the object shows the deceleration. Deceleration. Yes, like this. It's okay, correct. But here, constant velocity, that would be wrong, right? Then, correct answer is fifth one. Can we note this one? Correct answer is question number nine. Answer is fifth one. Okay, right. Let's see number 10. A car moves, a car moves on a straight line from A to B with the velocity of 40, like this, velocity of 40, and it returns back. That's the important word of this question. Why? Turns back. Then direction has changed, no? Yes. 
direction has to be changed now. They need average, what? Not the speed, they need average velocity. So average velocity, starting from A travels to B through the displacement of S, and starting again from B, completed at A, again covering the displacement of S. So that's the doubt. Average velocity is written, total displacement. Total displacement. Can you underline this one? Divided by total time. So total displacement in this case, zero. Therefore, average velocity would be zero. Then correct answer is first one. Velocity is a vector quantity. Therefore, we can't ignore the direction. Displacement becomes zero. Patangan ne evaling, apa huya evalatam evilati no. Enan total displacement should be zero, right? Then answer is first one. Okay, next. Number 11. Can we check? Question number 11. An object starts with an initial velocity 8 ms minus 1 and shows the motion as the figure, as the graph. The velocity after 10 seconds at here velocity. Then today you should remember area of area of 80 graph. Area of 80 graph. What do you say? Area is V minus U, right? Changing velocity. Area of 80 graph is A into T acceleration into time then this area consists with 3 into 5 15 ms minus 1 this one consists with here it should be minus 2 into 5 right 10 ms minus 1 but it could be minus minus means decreasing velocity plus means increasing velocity so area of the graph is 15 minus 10 equal Final velocity to be found, initial velocity is mentioned 8 ms minus 1. So V becomes 8 plus 5, 13 ms minus 1. Then correct answer is fourth one. Can we check the correct answer? Fourth answer is the correct one. Clear. Right. Can we check the other questions? Okay, number 12. Two velocity time graph for A and B as shown in the figure. The magnitude of rate of change of velocity. Rate of change of velocity, acceleration or deceleration, right? Then this graph shows deceleration. And you are given this, this angle is 135, then this could be 45, right? Then you can say tan 45 is shown the deceleration of B, but they need the magnitude look. Magnitude of change of velocity, therefore deceleration. No need to put the minus sign. In the question, you are asked through only the magnitude. Therefore, sign won't be considered. Acceleration, the deceleration, though, just magnitude to be considered, right? Next one, we have another graph, right? This one. This angle should be 30, no? The other angle is given 60, that this should be 30. 
then we have tan 30 equate acceleration of a this is rate of change of velocity rate of change of velocity so they need the rate of change of velocity of b and a we have to divide these two then we have a b over a a equate tan 45 is 1 tan 30 1 over root of 3 root 3 comes up it becomes root 3 then correct answer is second one wa kalabaleta gattu to ata eno ekiyata root 3 nai kiyala udeyata maaru wela enna puluwa pravesaming simplifications tika gan okay can we copy this one number 12 complete Let's take number 30. An object starts from rest from the top of the inclined plane, reaches the bottom is 4 seconds. Reaches the bottom. Is it like this? It's an inclined plane right here. An object starting from top of the inclined plane. It covers until achieve the bottom four seconds, right? Okay, then can we consider this whole displacement is S? Then we can say S equal ut plus half a t squared along the inclined plane. So, S is the total displacement initially at rest plus half into acceleration unknown T squared is 4 squared. Then we can say S equal, it's here half A into 4 squared. Done. And time taken of which when it covers one fourth of the displacement, one fourth, it's S by 4. Then again, this equation is repeated from here to here. Then it becomes S equal ut half. It's S by 4. Half A, it's T squared. But it's better to divide these two. Maybe I'll make a sakura, sakura you know, A, A available. Half, half cancel. Then you can just divide these two. So 4 comes up. Equate here. 4 squared over T squared. Then square root for both the sides available then one becomes here one here t is also one right here root of four is two four square root is four here t square is t t becomes two second one fourth displacement covered after two second of its motion so correct answer is first one one seconds, it's answer is second one, right? Sorry. Answer is first one, two seconds. Then Megan had under Saman in Lamik, Mehma Kramak Pavichikar, Noya, Tangalagabang, Ethrukala Dena, had under Liana Kalimbalaga. Lamai Mehma Kiro. Sir, we can use S equal UT plus half AT squared, no matter. UT is zero. Then S equals half A T squared done. And again, you can say acceleration remains same throughout the entire motion. Throughout the entire motion, acceleration remains unchanged. Then S directly proportional to T squared. Then total displacement S covered in 4 seconds, 4 squared. Then what about S by 4? Hmm, T squared, that's it. Mena mehemat lame gude kiyana pudwa. Then if this cancel, this one goes up. Simplification take place. Two seconds done. This is also smart. What a kamati kramiak pavi chikaran pudwa. This alama make a product note down karangi. Proportionality is available here. That's okay. Done. And basic calculation is also available, no matter, we can use directly.
right next question api eke ara mul kalla podda balla eka awashya nam itara kiya ga nikan kola puruwanne pa if you need you can write right okay just shortest method to be identified okay can we consider number 14 yes number 14 two objects are projected simultaneously at the same speed once upward like this this kind of position once upward then the other one down with the same speed then this one going up and comes to the bottom this one made 9 seconds of motion here 4 seconds of motion once is upward and the other one is downward no yes then anyhow both will cover the height of h what they need they need the height okay then first thing we can apply s equal ut plus half at square first towards upward for the upward moving one put it goes up and comes to the bottom then gap in between initial and final would be h but it is minus as selected direction is upward it could be minus is that clear with the yes then then u is u time taken is 9 half upward we have deceleration minus t into 9 squared so we have minus becomes plus mulu ekama man rina walin wedi karan yanna 9u here minus here we have 9 squared like this then we can say it becomes plus this is minus half into 10 into 9 squared let this one first one and second thing we can say downward direction s equal ut plus half at square done and then s is h u it is thrown one downward during the time of 4 plus half into acceleration 10 right clear multiple by t 4 squared done yes then any kind of thing you can use what you can equate h and h then find in u and then substitution again for one of these two to find h as you wish but no matter or you can simplify this one by using simultaneously simplification considering this one with the product of 9 and this one with the product of 4 make a 9 වැඩි කරලා make a 5 හතරෙන් වැඩි කරලා एट वस इक्वेशन देखिंग वाट एच वो एंड अप पुलवा मेक प्रश्न एक विधिर दी लतीन पुते वेल आवटी का नास्ति करा मारे यह तो अरे मेक महालुकु कतंदर एंड ने बट क्या शुड बी टेकन इन द सब्सिट्यूशन यू शुड नेम यू शुड मार्क दैट माइनस साइन अदरवाइज पुते कंपलीटली कैलकुलेशन इज़ रॉंग राइट ओके देन � as you wish for it i think it's better to do a uh, equating h and h then these two getting equal then you can simplify very easy it's 9u minus it's plus half into acceleration 10 and it's 9 squared equate u for u plus half into acceleration 10 it's four square right done then this is taken into the other side this one into the other side it's 13 u equal this one half common 10 common here we have nine square minus four square then find u and then substitute with h okay now can we consider question number 15 right 15th question number 
number 15. The object starting from rest. An object starting from rest moves with the constant acceleration right here. Starting from rest, u is 0, moves with a constant acceleration. After 6 seconds, the velocity becomes 12. At here, velocity becomes 12. Then today you can say change of velocity 12 minus 0 divided by 6 seconds now here. 6 seconds divided by 6. It's like v minus u over t is acceleration. Then you can find acceleration. A becomes 2 ms minus 2, first thing. Or you can use v equal u plus a t to find acceleration first. Oh, it's very easy. 12 divided by 6 is the acceleration as initially at rest. Clear, Buddha? Displacement in the object. 10 second displacement in the 10 second initial velocity 0 put the in the sentence seconds means this one in the 10 seconds then end of 9 seconds here end of 10 seconds here distance travel in the 9 second is this one delta s then you can easily use delta s equal initially at rest then half Acceleration A, T2 square minus T1 square. Time duration of both seconds, right? Then this one to be equal to half into acceleration 2. Here 10 squared minus 9 squared. Here 2, 2 cancel. The high number is to curve form of the number meters here. Then distance travel in the 10th second is 19 millimeters. So correct answer is second one. Can you copy the calculation? Okay, number 16. Okay, read the question carefully. Number 16, time taken of which? Time taken of which the second meter of the motion of an object which is started from rest moves with an acceleration of 8. Let's see the process. Okay. An object right here started from rest. This is the first meter covered here, one meter. Second meter, second meter is this one, the other meter. From here, from here to here, it's co it covers two meters. Is that clear, Buddha? That's the question. So, initially at rest, moves with an acceleration of 8 ms minus 2. Time duration. Let the time from here to here t1, from here to here t2. They need the time duration from t1 to t2. Time duration of which to travel second meter, second meter, Deveni meter, Gaman Karanda, Gatavelati in a Kale Kocher. That's the question. Ari, can I be the Apio Patlan the Bullock on the Right, let's see the application. Ani Harile see with it. 
applying s equal u t plus half a t squared, s equal u t plus half a t squared. So u t zero, s becomes half a t squared. First thing, one meter equal half into eight into t one squared. T one equal two into four here. One fourth root is one two seconds. First one, right? Again, second thing, same equation is two meters, half from here to here, whole thing. Acceleration a t two square. Here four two by four is two t two equal one over root of two seconds, right? To the second one. Then they need time duration t two minus t one to be considered t two. One over root of two minus half. So we can do like this. No? Make him mama root the king udha vadi karala. Root the king bedala. Oye tiye ne kliya. Nangau lakne. Fair no. Root two. Denominator numerator consists with same value. Au lakne. Upper and lower values cancel. Numerator and numerator directly cancelling, so no matter. And uh, we can say then we can say what root two root two it's two root two over two minus half. Then put a common factor is one two taken out. Inside the bracket we have root two minus one. Then adjustment take place like second answer. Right. Can we take the final process of the answer? Vedithi ne hadala uttara agathara de dilathi ne uttara pahata galathi ne vidyata oya adjust when that to anney kandu na ganda bala. That's it. Then correct answer is second one. Okay. Can we take number seventeen? It's a projectile motion. The horizontal range of projectile launched by 15 degree with the horizontal is 1500 meters. It's a projectile like this. Now, if you can remember, if this is horizontal range for the projectile motion of velocity u, then R is written u squared over g sine 2 theta. Meva mataka tiagana inneka hondai gananga dati. Emanatu, these are not the direct equations, right? This is valid only for such a motion, right? If it is thrown from the higher position or oh, top of the building or top of the mountain to travel towards downward, this equation is not valid, right? This is valid. This is not an equation to that. This is the final result of a calculation. We are using this one to easy to take the answers without taking again and again simplifications, right? Okay, then first thing are 1500 meters. We can put here u squared over g sine that one 15 degree multiplied by 2. 2 of 15. It could be 13. Yes. Then what about the range R if the angle become 45 u squared over g sine twice of 45. Okay, then we can divide both the equations. Then 1500 over R here u squared g, u squared g cancel. Sine 30 is half. Sine 90 is just one, then R becomes 300, 3000. Right, can you clean the answer? Write the way of taking the answer. Okay. Question number 70, correct answer is second one, right? Okay.
Question number 18. The speed of projectile at the maximum height is 1 over root 2 time of the initial projection. Can we cross check that one? You are given a projectile motion here. Velocity at the maximum height is 1 over root 2 times is the velocity at the maximum height. Then you can say this angle is theta. U cos theta is the velocity at the top of the projectile. That velocity is equal to 1 over root 2 times of u. Then you can say u cos theta equal u divided by or u multiple by 1 over root of 2. But I the Velocity at the maximum height of the projectile motion is 1 over root 2 times of the velocity at the projection. This is the projected velocity at the beginning. It's 1 over root 2 times done. Then equals u cos theta. It's u, u cancel here. Cos theta is 1 over root of 2. Then theta becomes 45 degrees. Then what's the need to the? They need the horizontal range. Then put it's very easy. R equal u squared over g sine 2 theta. Then R equals just u squared over g sine twice of 45, 90. Then R becomes u squared over g. Clear. Right. Can we take the final answer? Answer is fourth one, right? Answer is fourth one. Done. Clear. Number 19. 19 is the maximum height of projectile is 50 meters. Maximum height of the projectile is 50 meters. Horizontal range is 200. Horizontal range is four times of maximum height in an angle. Practice is the best thing. When a monotone. What a projectile matakanang. We had the note, right? We had the note. The horizontal range is four times from the maximum height. It's the angle of projection. 45 degrees. Right. By using short while time, 19 question. This is the projectile. Then projection velocity u, angle theta. Then horizontal range is written u squared over g. Sine 2 theta is written twice of sine theta multiplied by cos theta. Right? This is written 200 meters. This is first one. Then quickly, we have to put the vertical height. Equation is u squared plus 2a as quick as possible. v squared at the maximum height, vertical direction, velocity could be zero. Initial velocity u, vertical direction, sine theta. That of squared minus 2 into g into s is h h is 50 meters. Then 2gh equal u squared sine squared theta. So here 2g into 50 equal u squared sine squared theta. So this is second one. Then we are going to divide second and first one. So we have second one is 
2g into 50 divided by here 200 api me g akura eha pattara ginihilla juwe me hata ginihilla gattana lazy at then u squared sine square theta divided by here u squared 2 sine theta into cos theta you have to write at least like this as quick as possible one aparadhi vela ave arga mataka tibbana good then gg cancel here we have 4 here we have 2 2 is to 2 cancel u squared u squared cancel then one sine theta cancel then sine theta divided by cos theta just one sine over cos means tan tan table gives just one then theta becomes the 45 degree can you copy this one Okay. Can we take number 20? Last question. Right. 20th one. The, the force that should be applied on 10 kilogram. Here we have object. On 10 kilogram weight is 100 newton. So that in the vacuum, in the vacuum, there is no air resistance. That's the only specific one. There is no air resistance. That's only. Vacuum me ke gravity ka kne ne me. Tamara kai maging ahalati no khaling ne ogulo ne me. Does the value of gravitational acceleration available in vacuum? It does. Vacuum ke ane pute hula line karla vitara. Gravity zero karanda daya pite the. Inside a vacuum, we can use a vacuum pump to remove gas in a container. Then it is vacuum evacuated one. There is no gas, then no air resistance. That's the only thing. The zero gravity never identified at anywhere, right? Okay. Zero gravity located at infinity long distance from a planet. And zero gravity occurred at the center of the earth, at the under bear. Infinity long distance is completely invisible one. Impossible one, right? Okay. Then to have the acceleration, acceleration 3 ms minus 2. But I'll let you know that I'm going to be better for a second, you know, kill it and as it is moving down, it's a learning can be a f equal in me downward f plus 100 equal m mass 10 is 3. It's downward, right? Okay, then f becomes. Here 30, 100 minus 70 Newton is backward, sorry, downward, right? Then change the direction, then it becomes downward 70 Newton. This is the force. And a force that has to be applied to maintain 3 ms minus 2. Acceleration downward is 70 Newton backward to the moving direction. Make up point. If it is under gravity, there is an acceleration of 10 ms minus 2. If we reduce that acceleration, force has to be applied backward to the moving direction. That's the final answer. Then answer is, correct one is first answer. Right. Can you note the number of correct answers? 